Hey everyone, this is Crystal and I am back with a uh, page in my creativity journal. So it's been a little while since I have worked in this album. I am excited to get back to it and get caught up. Uh, this is week 19 and I am using um, the Citrus Twist Kits uh, cravings kit. So I have the Life Crafted kit and the stamp add-ons. I also have another stamp set that I am probably going to grab um, for this one. Otherwise, um, I am just going to put you on fast forward and start playing. So I am going to start by um, grabbing some of the cards that I have left from this kit. These are actually the extra printable cards that you get as a subscriber. Uh, I'm going to cut those down to just the ticket shapes. I'm going to cut off all the white space around them. While I do that, I just want to talk to you a bit about this project and kind of where I stand um, halfway through the year with it. Even though I'm not fully caught up to halfway through the year, it's currently halfway through the year as I am recording this. So um, I thought it would be a good time to just check in. Uh, it had been a few weeks since I'd worked in this album, and I was starting to feel like, um, like I didn't remember what the point of it was. Why was I doing this? It was starting to just feel like another chore on my to-do list, um, and I, 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 I needed to refocus and think about why I was even keeping this album in the first place. So, um, actually, this morning on my. Uh, walk with the dogs. Uh, I thought a bit about it and um, remembered that I'm really doing this for me. I'm doing this to uh, remind myself of the work that I've done, to focus on my wins, to focus on the things that I enjoy doing. This is my hobby. This is um, the only hobby I have right now except for singing. Um, but uh, it's the only creative outlet I have at the moment um, that is hands-on, and I do spend a lot of time doing it, and I want to be able to look back at the end of the year and see what I have to show for that time. Um, I also want to use this to um, to re-inspire myself because I definitely struggle with all the things that most creative people struggle. I definitely get burnout. I definitely have creative block and I definitely suffer from the whole comparison syndrome um, thing that we too often uh, put upon ourselves. So I want to use this to say, look, you've done um, some great work this year. You've accomplished these things and um, that's something to be proud of. So uh, that kind of inspired me to pick this album back up, to pick up where I left off, and to start documenting these things again. Um, you know, I definitely have weeks where I don't share as much. I think the next, the week after this is one where I didn't have any uh, posts, but I do have something to say still about my creative journey during that week. Um, so there's always, there's always something to record in this album. There's always some story to tell. And even though I don't do a lot of journaling, I will be able to look back um, at this week and say, oh yeah, I, I remember that layout or I remember um, that release in my Etsy shop or I remember uh, that week in my Project Life album. And um, it's not about what those projects were for or um, what the meaning of those projects were. It was about the act of doing them and uh, the therapy that I got from being creative and um, the joy I got from from doing, uh, from creating these pages. And then also that I was able to inspire, hopefully, <laughs> some of you to do some of the same things. I, I, I say hopefully, but I know that I am. I know that I've heard from many of you and um, that you are inspired by some of the things that I do and I cannot tell you how much that um, that means to me, how much I appreciate that and how much that drives me forward to continue to do what I'm doing. Um, of course, that's not why I do it, but it it means a lot to know that I'm helping others. I always want to be helpful. I want to inspire people to be uh, as creative as, as they can be. I firmly believe that... Um, working with your hands, being creative in this way is a form of therapy. I think that um, it's a form of play and play is 
uh, essential to our development, not only as children, but as adults too. And uh, it's something that we all need. And if this is not your cup of tea, then, then definitely go out and find something that is, something that lets you uh, exercise your creative muscles and um, get some of that uh, psychological benefit from it. So, um, okay, now <laughs> I've, I've said my piece. I can talk about what I've been doing on this actual page. So, uh, like I said, I cut down those journal cards and I've paired them with three of the projects that I'm sharing this week on this page. Um, I went through the die cuts and pulled out some that I wanted to use that worked with either the subject matter or um, that I just liked the look of and wanted to include on this page. I'm down to um, kind of the last bits of this kit. Uh, this is probably the last project I'll make with it as a kit and then I'll break it up and um, use the pieces individually in the future. But, um, so I wanted to make sure that I got all the things that I really wanted to use down on this page. So I've chosen those. I'm creating clusters around my page. Um, I'm keeping to the grid a little bit in some places and then kind of breaking from that grid in others, which is something I like to do on my um, creativity journal pages. Uh, I like the concept of the grid, but I end up, I end up going outside of it most often. Um, I'm also being mindful of the stories that I have to tell that I don't have photos for. I do have a couple stories here that um, I didn't print photos for that I that I either didn't have or didn't want to include those photos. Uh, but I do want to just write a few lines. I don't do a lot of journaling on this particular spread, um, but that's okay. I don't feel like I need to um, go on and on in my journaling when maybe just a description of what the project was and how I felt about it is really enough sometimes. So. Um, yeah, so I am including several of the um, tags that were in the cut apart sheets, um, including this one here. And if you saw that, I just, uh, I needed to uh, punch the hole in the center of the little printed on tag piece. Um, but I have, I find that I have trouble finding the center when I'm looking through my hole punch. So I tend to just make a tiny little dot in the center of those, those printed on pieces. Uh, and then I can line up my hole punch with that dot, and then I know that it's going to be as centered as I can get it. So um, that's just a little trick that I uh, tend to do and um, thought it might be helpful to you. I really love this cut apart piece that has the days of the week in kind of a rainbow print. Um, you can see I have three of them there. That's because um, if you haven't seen me work with this kit already this month, uh, I attempted for the first time to do a print and cut with the cut parts from this month's release and uh, had some trouble with it. I ended up with a few kind of botched versions that I um, still kept some of the pieces from just because I didn't want to throw them away when uh, they were generally still usable. So uh, I did pull out one that was a bit straighter. The other one had been uh, cut a little bit wonky. So I, I went back into my uh, bin of embellishments and pulled out a straight one instead there. Um, I am using the frame from the ephemera as well, which I always like to use on these pages. I have trouble using them on layouts or in my project life, but they do come in really handy on these creativity journal pages. So um, I tend to use them here instead. Um, I do have to also apologize if you can hear, I think they're cutting down a tree in my neighborhood. So if there's a lot of background noise, um, hopefully you can't hear it, but if you can, I apologize uh, for that. So there was that little die cut that says um, something like, I just want to make things even if nobody cares. And I thought that was perfect for this project and kind of perfect for um, how I feel about sharing. I sometimes struggle with sharing thinking, why am I why am I posting all these things? Nobody's going to want to see them. Nobody cares. Um, you know, it's that whole imposter syndrome thing uh, that I think a lot of us struggle with. But um, I do still want to make things, even if nobody cares. And I do still want to post them, even if nobody cares. But I, like I said before, I do know that people care and that um, I, I, I do uh, inspire some of you out there. So, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty perfect for this project. I, I wish I had one to uh, add to every week so that I could um, remind myself that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, if nobody cares. Um, that I still want to make things because this is this is my joy. This is the thing that I like most 
like to do most. Okay, so because I added that dark purple uh, die cut there that I was just talking about, I felt like I needed to add a bit more of that dark purple color, so I found a couple other things I could stick on the page. That kind of brought that color across the page and didn't make that stand out quite so much. Um, I'm just kind of sprinkling the puffy stickers all over the place. Like I said, this is probably the last spread I'll do with this kit as a whole, so I'm just using up all the things that I want to use. Um, and filling in all the blank spaces. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do a, a whole lot of journaling on this spread, so there is going to be a lot of white space to fill in, uh, which there generally is when I'm doing these creativity journal pages, just because, you know, I don't, I don't share something every day, every week. I don't uh, create something every day, every week. Um, there are weeks when I do, but there are certainly weeks when I don't. So um, it being in a calendar format like this, is helpful for me because I get to see, you know, at, in a glance or at a glance what I did in a week. Um, but it also means that there's going to be lots of blank areas where I certainly just didn't do anything creative that day or um, that that part of the week even. Sometimes it's a whole half a week where I didn't really have anything. Uh, and I do think move things around a little bit like my Etsy release that I'm um, working on right now happened on the 5th, not on the weekend, but I wanted to give it more space so that I could write a bit more about it and um, give it a little bit more prominence on the page. So I just moved it over where I had space. I rarely post on the weekends. Uh, that is kind of my family time. So I try not to be on social media quite as much unless I have an assignment due one of those days. So I generally don't have a lot to put on um, Saturday and Sunday on these spreads. So I use that space to um, kind of tell larger stories or give more prominence to stories that I want to include from earlier in the week. And it doesn't bother me that they're not on the exact date. Um, within a week's time is certainly close enough um, for me, especially I know when I look back on this, I'm not going to care if it happened on the 5th or the 10th. It really doesn't matter. Uh, for my title, I am using my... Um, week stamp set from Citrus Twist Kits. I just recently got this. It's been released for a little while, but I just picked one up from the Citrus Twist Kits shop. Uh, it was designed by Andrea um, Gray of Retro Hit Mama for Citrus Twist, and I love it. It has the word week in lots of different fonts and sizes. There's lots of extra um, phrases and words as well, and uh, I think it's going to come in super handy, not only in this project, but in Project Life as well. And then to fill out the rest of my title, I'm using the, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of the stamp set now, but it's that one right there. It's the same font as the puffy stickers, and uh, it has the uh, capital letters and all of the numbers, and then it has the abbreviated months of the year and a few years as well. So I used May 2020 and also the one and nine for week 19. Um, for my title to fill out my title and I really like the way that that turned out. I was using just some gray ink because I had some bits of gray on this page and um, not a lot of black so I do end up using a gray pen as well to do my journaling and to do a little bit of doodling because you know that I'm going to add doodles to nearly every every spread in this album. It's um, just uh, a, it's a place where I can be a little bit more free with my um, with my documenting and my creativity. Okay, so we're already done. Um, that was it. I did my journaling off camera. You can see it in the close-up photos here. Um, it came together super fast. It was a fun one to do, and I'm happy that I was able to use up lots of the bits and pieces from this kit. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and uh, were able to find some inspiration, I do appreciate a thumbs up. It also uh, lets YouTube know that maybe it should recommend this video to other people. So. Um, Th those th thumbs up really do matter. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all back here very soon.